All right, it's videos like this that are some of the funnest to make. When you someone sends you, you know, a tip of donation and donation. So on that first part, shout out to Marty. Thank you so much for your support. But you're you're sent something that just catches your eye with a, with a description, and then you look into it, and boom, there you are. So Marty writes, number one guitar slinger, Rory, Steve Ray Vaughn. Well, you've got to check out Johnny Winter, Johnny Be Good, 1984, Johnny on the Laser. Then get back to me. And then you you pull up the video. Johnny, more than any guitarist, captures the raw energy, speed, and vitality of rock. Possibly the greatest guitarist you will ever see or hear. To all of you supporting, thank you. It's 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 honestly helping me employ others. We're uh, building this tool to analyze the comment sections of like videos and social media posts. Just like, you know, using semantics and things as such. So most of the comments are highlighting uh, Johnny Winter's guitar skills, describing him as one of the greatest guitarists of all time, capturing raw energy and speed and possessing breathtaking ability. Several comments express admiration for Johnny Winter. I believe he deserves more recognition, deserves to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. A lot of people just expressing a disappointment that he's not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Again, I've never heard of him, so as I'm, as intrigued as I now am, let's make sure, let's uh, get some mate here. Congratulations to freaking Argentina winning the Copa America. And uh, let's roll it. Okay. We love black performances, man. Johnny Be Good is one of the classics. Marty McFly, you know, a lot is going on here. The blondest hair I've seen, uh, freaking tiny, I guess they call them laser guitars. The closest thing I found to sounding like a Strat and feeling like a Gibson Johnny Winter. So this is Johnny Winter. It does sound phenomenal and it's tiny. Very, very intrigued by the guitar, bro. His sound is fantastic. Skinny as all, get out. So many things, and then the powerful voice. This is what you want. This is the experience you want in your first time ever hearing about someone. This is this is awesome. Yeah. Nice. Here we go. Okay. Yes.
okay, okay, go, 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 okay. Okay, I feel like we're gonna step up here. This is also how you make such a well-known song very different and very unique to the the performance. I love how they're using, you know, the whole emphasis on the wrong syllable approach to the song. The use of dynamics to change it and make it known. And some of it is probably like kind of spontaneous around where he's putting the emphasis and the band is just following along. Again, I haven't like listened to what a studio version of them playing this will sound like, but again, if you're a guitar, I mean, I've wa I can't tell you how many times I've watched Back to the Future. So uh, I've listened to the song a lot. And then again, it is not just a cover. It is so vastly different and unique. That's awesome. Okay, here we go. The sound quality of this recording is great. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> like, that's awesome, bro. What a cool tone, bro. When he bends the string, it almost sounds like he's wop, like he has a wap, like a wop hat pedal. Jeez, why can't I say that? But he doesn't. Maybe he's using a play, uh, what's the, I can't remember the fact, it's been a long time. Bass player's phenomenal. Entire band, right? Like, he's got a powerful voice, man. Like, listen to it. Freaking awesome, though. Freaking awesome. Yeah. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, okay, I need to look up more about this guy. This is, I think, my favorite type of musician. The guitar slinging, blues singing, like... This is my favorite type of musician. Again, why I love Stevie Ray Vaughan from what we checked him out. Uh, like uh, Jimi Hendrix. I haven't checked out as much Stevie Ray Vaughan and Jimi Hendrix as I should. Like, But like, I'm realizing why people calling call them the goats, right? For me, right, it's been like John, John Mayer, right? And John Mayer credits all of his stuff to them, right? He even has a Stevie Ray Vaughan tattoo. 
An American singer, a guitar, songwriter, and record producer, Winter was known for his high-energy blues rock albums, live performances, this, so there we go, and slide guitar playing from the late 60s into the early 2000s. He produced three Grammy Award-winning albums for blues singers and guitarist Muddy Waters. Right? I mean, so here we go. I don't know who Muddy Waters is. In 1988, he was inducted into the Blues Foundation Hall of Fame. In 2003, he was ranked to 63rd in Rolling Stones Magazine's list of 100 greatest guitarists of all time. I mean, didn't they also even put, like, Taylor Swift on this list, or was that another one? Do you know who I want to listen to some more as well? B.B. King, bro. Like, I'm going through here and seeing, like... This is, uh, I think, where, like, me and my friends come, you know, right? In the, on the guitar exploration side of this channel. YouTube was uh, became a thing uh, more when I was in high school and uh, and then college as well. But uh, in high school, it was really just for like funny stuff. We didn't I didn't we didn't think of YouTube quite yet as uh, the ed educational powerhouse that it is, you know. So all of my guitar stuff was, again, stuff that I played in, in middle school, downloading stuff on Napster and LimeWire. Right. So I listened to a lot of Yngwie Malmsteen, Steve Vai, uh, Symphony X. My favorite guitarist is Michael Romeo. From, from that time. So I was very into uh, speed guitarists. Didn't get into the blues. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know what a better way to say it, but the, the poet guitarists until later, you know? And uh, and then also like in high school and, and college, I was more than, a, I became more an acoustic uh, singer. I, I joined choir as a joke and then just started being more of a singer actually. So it's been super fun getting back to what made me fall in love with music in the first place, which is guitar, but then learning the stuff that actually mattered, which is expression. So learning about these guitarists has been so much fun, man. So again, Marnie, shout out to you. Thank you. Johnny Winter, where do you rank him? Doesn't really matter to each their own opinion. What do you like about Johnny Winter? What's another good guitar? What's a guitarist we haven't checked out on the channel quite yet uh, that you would recommend? Uh, these are some of the videos that I have honestly the most fun with, so... Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Let me know. I can't wait uh, to in engage and interact with you all. So much love, everybody. Till the next one. Peace.